Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be taking care of hyperpigmentation. Now, what is hyperpigmentation? Hyperpigmentation is any form of a coloring on the skin other than your normal skin tone. This may occur because of acne, this can come because of pimples on the skin you can even get a scars on the skin and these are considered dark spots and blemishes you name it on the skin now how do you get rid of pigmentation on the skin you get rid of pigmentation by using a skin lightening products you can use a store-bought skin lightening products or you can try some home remedies today I'm going to share an home remedy with you that is extremely effective in clearing hyperpigmentation on the skin this remedy is also good for your neck if you have darker neck and it's also good for knuckles and knees so if you're looking for something that you can whip up in the kitchen and use on your skin for a couple of weeks and watch your spots and blemishes disappear follow me to my kitchen I'm gonna share the recipe with you step by step and I'm gonna give some tips and how best to use this on your skin for fast effective results so don't go away continue watching for the recipe our first ingredient is aloe vera gel and today we're gonna be using about two ounces of the aloe vera Gel. Now, aloe vera gel contains vitamin C, which will help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to extract the aloe vera gel. Now, when it comes on to using aloe vera on the skin, it's not only clear hyperpigmentation, but it also helps to smooth the skin. It's good for sunburn, and it also helps to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. To extract the aloe vera gel, simply peel the hopper leaf like I'm showing here. And then for this recipe, you're also going to need a blender. And then you're gonna take your aloe vera gel and we're placing that in the blender now to make sure to get everything out just scrape like I'm showing here to release all of the aloe vera gel so now let's set this aside and move on to our next ingredient our second ingredient is potato, also known as Irish potato. Potato contain catecholase, which will help to clear the skin of hyperpigmentation. I'm going to be using half of a medium potato, and we're going to remove the outer peel of the potato. So you want to peel your potato, like I'm showing here. Now, potato can be used directly on the skin for hyperpigmentation. It also can be used to tighten and firm the skin. The best way to use a potato, however, is to make sure that it's chilled in the refrigerator because it works better when it is cold. And now I'm going to chop this in small pieces for easier blending. So chop the potato. You can also choose to grate the potato if you do not have a blender. And now, reaching back for the aloe vera, and we're going to add our chopped potato to our blender along with the aloe vera gel. Now, before we blend, we have a few more ingredients to add to this, so don't go away. Continue watching. So here we have some potato and some aloe vera gel, and now we're going to add our next ingredient. Our next ingredient is dried orange peel powder and we're using this for its vitamin C. To dry your orange peel, simply peel your orange, put it in a brown paper bag and put it away to dry. So we're using about a, a teaspoon of the dry orange peel powder, pour this in. And now we're gonna add our final ingredient, which is sweet almond oil. Sweet almond oil is one of the better oil to help with hyperpigmentation. We're using about a teaspoon of the sweet almond oil, pouring this in our blender. So right now we have aloe vera gel, we have potato, we also have the dried orange peel, and we have some sweet almond oil, and now we're gonna blend this together. So let's just cover, give it a little shake, shake it down, and let's blend. Now once this is blended, let's pour this out. And take a look at this. 
this is our aloe vera potato facial wash now this is good to use to wash your face to get rid of hyperpigmentation this is also good for large pores it helps to seep in the pores clean them out this is good for blackheads and this is also good to get rid of textured skin brighten and lighten the skin so I'm just gonna pour this in my storage container And you're going to use this to wash your face this remedy is good to use to wash your face daily if you want fast result I suggest you wash your face with this straight for seven days to clear the skin of blackheads whitehead and hyperpigmentation all you need is about a teaspoon and you're just gonna rub it in your hands and just use it to wash your face like I am showing here just exfoliate your face with it and you're exfoliating your face for about two to three minutes or so just try rubbing this on my hands guys you can already see what this is gonna be doing to your face so exfoliate your face as I said two to three minutes and then look at that look at the big difference this is the one I'm using to exfoliate and this is the one I touch it but I didn't cut continue to do it big difference guys see how darker this is it's almost like instant result on your skin so this is how it's going to help to fade the hyperpigmentation on the skin so use this facial wash every day and before you know it you're on your way to brighter clearer skin free from hyperpigmentation now store this in your refrigerator and I like to use this up to be honest within three days or so so make enough to use for about three days and then make another batch however up to seven days in your refrigerator is good to go so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to share guys and guess what guys I am waiting for your comments so what I want you to do is to go ahead and use this remedy give it a chance to work guys it's not magic so it's gonna take a while to work however within a few weeks your skin should be clearing up tremendously so use it and then come back and leave a comment thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye bye